Hello YouTube, this is Hunter Surge of the Brawler Cafe. Uh, so, we got some more uh, database leakage that just happened. Um, so we're going to talk about it again. Uh, just a quick refresher, uh, if you haven't already seen the Wave 3 singles video and the information we got from there, basically we have a pretty good idea of what the Wave 3, 4, and 5 singles would be. Now, a couple of weeks ago, um, this is something that you probably, you might have seen added to the Brawler Cafe card sheet. Um, a couple of weeks ago, we got, uh, information, um, from, I believe Ryzen got it from his local Target? Yeah, I think that was it. On the next batch of starter packs. Um, uh, basically just what Ultras would be in them. Uh, so they were Darkest Tritonium Ultra, Chaos Delius Ultra, Pyrus Fangzor Ultra, Pyrus Gortheon Ultra, uh, Ventus Garganoid Ultra, and Ventus Krakelios Ultra. Um, now, uh, now we have some extra info on some of those, we'll get into that in just a moment. Uh, now this was a bit odd, because based on the UPCs we got, um, see, if you look here, uh, this is the Wave 3 stuff, um, and, uh, like, the Wave 2 stuff is already out, of course. Wave 3 would be introducing bots on, like, Dragonoid Ultra, Fangs or Ultra, Gortheon Ultra, um, and, uh, and some cords as well. Um, but these, uh, these contain, uh, some, some Bakugan that we did not have in Wave 2. Uh, so I was a bit suspicious that these might actually be set to drop alongside Wave 3. And we do know that these are for sure Battle Brawlers. Because we've actually seen two of these in videos before. Um, here in Negative Legends uh, Baku Vlog Day 2 video. Uh, we saw this Chaos Milius Ultra starter pack. Uh, that very clearly denotes itself as part of the Battle Brawlers card set. Uh, this By identifying the ball forms we were able to figure out that this, this is Ventus Serpentis and this is Darkest Pegatrix. And then um, Kimbo, at the same sneak peek, of course, opened the Ventus Krakelios Ultra starter pack, which was also one of the ones uh, we found out about. Um, also, Battle Brawlers came with Arella Serpentis and Pyrus Dragonoid. So, um, so uh, we know these have to come out at some point in Battle Brawlers. Uh, but it's more likely to me that these come out in Wave 3. Um, and just now, uh, just right about now, we've gotten, um, as for the Tritonium, just real quick on the Tritonium Ultra specifically. Um, I don't believe it's in any of the battle packs, right? Yeah, it's not. Uh, so specifically on that, um, if you look here in the Baku log, if we just look in here, I'm just gonna move this a bit to the side, um, we'll see that there are Tritoniums in here. However, um, the only Ultra is Darkest. So if if Darkest Tritonium Ultra was a starter pack thing, then it would make a decent amount of sense um, that, oh, I'm just gonna mm, close this a bit. There we go, that should be better. Um, therefore, it makes a bit more sense that it would show up in a starter pack and not in a single. Um, let me just remind myself, is there a Tritonium Core? No, there isn't. But there's only two of it, so it, it would be decent amount of sense if it was only in battle packs and starter packs in its initial release wave. Um, so yeah, uh, that's that's the basics of that. Um, so, uh, we recently got some more leaked database information that went up on the wiki. Um, so, uh, we have leaked starter packs and leaked battle packs. Um, so, uh, da da da. So, um, we have the Fangtor Ultra, the Gortheon Ultra, um, the Chaos Ultra, the Ventus Garganoid Ultra, the Ventus Krakelios Ultra, and the, where's that? Darkest Tritonium Ultra. Those are all the ones that we already knew. Uh, that would be like wave three, assumedly. Um, so we have these new ones. So we have Pyrus Dragonord Ultra. This would be a reprint of uh, the Pyrus Dragonord Ultra single, like another way to find it. It's already in the single uh, that looks to be saved for wave three. Um, this would be like wave four, wave five, probably. Um, we'll get into that more later. 
Um, then we have Pirates of Tronium Ultra. This bot gun is on the Baku Log right now. Aqua Spectrix Ultra, also not on the Baku Log right now. Uh, Ventus Tritonium Ultra, not on the Baku Log right now. Darkest Scorpion Ultra, not on the Baku Log right now. Aurelis Dragonord Ultra, not on the Baku Log right now. Um, and then we have uh, Diamond Cindius Ultra. Uh, so, another confirmed new diamond. Um, this would probably be the diamond for that wave because, uh, like, because Diamond Cindius isn't on the on the Baku log at this point. Um, oddly, we haven't we even with like multiple sources on on these like on on these uh, wave three starter packs. Uh, we still have no sign of what the diamond for that that wave of starter packs is, which is a bit odd. Um, but uh, looking at the Baku log. If we look at the Baku log, uh, so we of course have Drago's already out. Uh, Fangzor is not out. Uh, Garganord Ultra is a confirmed single. We have seen it at Toy Fairs. In addition, um, if we look here, where is it? Uh, Diamond Garganord Ultra is right here with the Wave 3 stuff. Oh. Right here with the Wave 3 stuff. Um, so that wouldn't be there. Um, Gorthion Ultra, no sign of that yet. Hydra's Core and Ultra, we have those. Max Core Ultra, we have that. Nilius Core, we that is also confirmed basically for Wave 3, because we've seen it at Toy Fairs with the Battle Brawlers branding. And Diamond Nilius Core single. Um, right there in the Wave 3 single stuff. Core single stuff. Um Pegatrix already have. Serpentis do not have. Uh Trox, we do have both in Core and Ultra. So, uh the starter pack for Wave uh, three, we're assuming that's where it is right now. Uh, would would compose of Chaos Scorpion Ultra Diamond, um, Diamond Pyrus Fangs or Core, and Diamond Aqua Serpentis Core. So that would probably be what the the Diamond Starter Pack there would be because like where else would these diamonds slot in? Um, so yeah, there's that information. Um, then. Uh, let's go into the battle packs, because we got information on five new battle packs. So, uh, these first three look, uh, like they would probably release at, at the same time as, as the starter packs, considering we, there hasn't been any sign of them, so they're probably not wave two. Uh, so they'd be wave three at this point. All of the ultras, uh, listed here are, of course, uh, ones that we can find on the Baku log right now. Uh, so, Pyrus Halcor... Uh, right here at the dismal 102. Um, Chaos Mantanoid right here. Yes, right here, 503. Um, Ventus Fangzor uh, with the abysmal stat lineup of 101. Um, Aquos Trox Ultra. Oops. Right here, 404. Darkest Cindius at 301. Um, and lastly, the Aurelis Trox Ultra at 801. Uh, so those would be the battle packs. Um, and then we have two more, which are Aquos New which contain Aquos Nobilius Ultra, Darkest Kirkelios Ultra, Aurelis Lepithion Ultra, and Chaos Vice Rocks Ultra. Now, if we look at the stuff we have on uh, what's probably in Wave 4 and 5, uh, these are Bakon that we can find in the Wave 5 information down here. Uh, we have Vice Rocks Ultra, uh, Lepithion Ultra, and Nobilius Ultra, all here in these singles, as well as Hydranoid guys and Hyper Dragonoid Ultra, but those aren't there. Um, curious that there's only two here. Um, there might be a third, or there might just be two for this wave. Who knows? Uh, can't really know until it actually drops. Um, but uh, basically, what I think is, I think what we can figure out at this point is we're going to get starter packs and battle packs every other wave so we had them in wave one we're going to have another batch coming out in wave three that will drop in like march or april um then in wave five or br wave bakugan resurgence uh we actually have uh, that's not the video i'm looking for 
I, I pulled up the wrong video when I was preparing. Uh, let me pull it up real quick. Um, yes, from the official video, uh, Bakon video, we now know the, uh, the booster packs for next set are Bakon Resurgence. Um, yeah. Yeah, and we also saw a couple new cards. Um, Hyper Serpentine's Ultra's level seems to, uh, give plus power and Shadow Strike to something when it's evolved. That's pretty cool. But regardless, regardless, let's get back into things. So, uh, that would be in BR Wave 2 or Wave 5, and then, like, continuing with that pattern, uh, ones that we don't have any leaked data on would be, like, in Set 3, Wave 1, we'd get another, and then Set 3, Wave 3, and that would be it for the 2019 stuff. Uh, because, um, for those who aren't aware, uh, w like, way back, uh, when stuff was first dropping, uh, Aurelis Ancient dropped a tidbit on the Reddit, uh, that... The, there would be three total sets in 2019, one coming out every four months. Um, so yes, uh, that is how that's going to go down. Um, eff effectively looking like three waves per card set, um, and and a card set every four months. So like uh, three toy waves dropping within those four month periods, and and one of every two toy waves will include a, a new wave of battle packs and starter packs. The other waves, like Wave 2, or uh, what will be BR Wave 1, or BR Wave 3, um, would then contain only new Core Singles and Ultra Singles. That would be all they contain. Um, might change in the future uh, as they add more products, but that's how it is for now. Um, I just want to... Okay, so I think that's most of the things I want to talk about. Um, if we look here in... Uh, in Kodox tweets once more. Uh, we can find a bunch of the Bakon that are mentioned here, like uh, Chaos Lupithion, right there, Lup Lupithion Ultra, which is listed as um, as a Wave 5 Ultra single. I'm just gonna bring this over here for quicker access. Um, this isn't something that we know of yet. Uh, Darkest, this would be Darkest Phaedrus Core. Uh, we also, like when I last did the video, uh, we didn't know the names of a bunch of stuff, but uh, thanks to more stuff like we basically know the names of everything like this mysterious dragon is very clearly phaedrus the mysterious tri triceratops was is trino uh we've seen the hyper dragonoid ultra toy so that's what the dragonio evo is stuff like that um yeah yeah um wait did i forget to this the uh god like Straight up forgot the uh, Caribbean. I know it was in there. Uh, yes, I did. I completely forgot to put that in there. Um, yeah, it's right here. Two five seven five two. Aurelis Pyre. Is that what it's called? Uh, wait, what do I need this for? I have this. Uh, where is it? Pyravian, yeah, Pyravian. Aurelis Pyravian Ultra Single. It's right there. Um, also, you might notice I'm only using the, um, I'm only using the item reference. I'm only using probably the UPC numbers now, um, uh, because I figured out how, I did research into how exactly UPCs work and figured out, oh, right, item reference number. That's the only part of this that we need. So I only have the item reference number in here. Uh, because the first five digits are just always going to for six, five, six are always going to be the same because it's spin master stuff. Um, so yeah, um, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So what else is there? Um, so yeah, we know what those are more. We know these are more in detail. So these are this is our wave three, of course. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So back to this stuff. Um, House Vice Rocks isn't something we have any sign of yet. Um, Pirates Vice Rocks core. Uh, as we know about, um, this is, this is probably Trino, but what actually does that come in the initial wave that uh, drops in, uh, Relis. Uh, Darkest Cindius Core, do we have that anywhere here? Uh, no. But yeah, basically you can use that information to go through here, identify stuff much better. There's some background that we still have no sign of, like this is Kellyan, I believe it's called. Uh, no sign of that anywhere up until wave five, so this is probably like a wave six or later Bakugan. Um 
Let's see what else. Um, Ever Dragonoid, of course. Hydronoid, of course. Uh, scroll down. Uh, this would be the Aquos uh, Nobilius that we actually uh, just talked about being in uh, one of the battle packs for Wave 5. See? Aquos, uh, Aquos Nobilius. So that would be that. Um, still no clue what that is. Uh, an Aquos uh, Nobilius. Um, this would be Aurelis Nepithion. Was that there? Yeah, uh, Aurelis Nepithion was right there. Um, Chaos Atronium Core. Um, that was Darkest Nepithion. Aurelis Citron Citronium. Uh, that would be Phaedrus. Uh, th yeah, this very much looks like the core version of Phaedrus. But based on those character cards, we know that Phaedrus Ultra is coming. Um, yeah, it was Phaedrus Ultra that we saw, right? I'm just gonna check on the wiki real quick. Yeah, it was Phaedrus Ultra that we saw a character card of from Bakugan Resurgence. So we would be getting Phaedrus Ultra at some point. Um, considering that we haven't seen it uh, yet um, in any of this leaked information, um, then it would probably be in Wave 6 because that would be the last wave of BR. So that would probably be when we would see Phaedrus Ultra. Uh, but basically, this, this is the info, guys. This, this is the stuff. Um, one thing I do want to talk about specifically is uh, the wiki was able to find one box on this thing that was not on the original leak, but it is Chaos Gorthion Ultra single right here. Um, so regarding Wave 3, um, so regarding Wave 3 Ultras, um, I get the impression that Chaos, um, Chaos Gorthion and also, where is he? Or is it Chaos Max Tor? Uh, those are both in the Bakalog. I imagine those will be in that Ultra Wave. Not sure about Darkest Gargonaut Ultra anymore because that would be quite the large Ultra Wave. Because, like, let's look at this. We already have one, two, three, four, five, six. That would be bringing us up to eight, which is the largest any single lineup has had. Um, now, a possibility for Darkest Gargonoid Ultra being released normally within this wave. Um, would be it's uh there are another group of starter sets that we have not seen yet um that is very possible uh basically like if there are battle packs and starter packs there might be new starter sets and uh figuring out if that might be the case i went through the bonkle log and figured out hey what bonkle on accounting for this new information what bonkle on are, do we still not have so what's still left is among the ultras it's just aurelis fangs or ultra then for cores um, keep in mind that just with the battle packs and starter packs here, there are like 21 core slots to fill. Um, no, uh, there's actually no, there's 15, 15 core slots to fill. But the only cores we have left are Aquos Tritonium Core, Aurelis Mantinoid Core, Aurelis Tritonium Core, Chaos Dragonoid Core, Chaos Hydrus Core, Chaos Mantinoid Core, Chaos Trox Core, and Pyrus Core Theon Core. That is only eight core buck on left when there's almost double the amount of slots to fill. If if there's another set of starter sets here, then that is another, like, um, six slots. So that's back up to 21. Uh, so we're probably going to see a lot of repeats. Of course, I've already been printed in these three packs and five packs. Uh, so additional chances to get those blocks on uh, will be coming up, most likely. Uh, don't know which ones it will be, but, you know, uh, that is something to keep in mind. Um, what else is there to mention? Um, so... The Ultras that are left are Aurelis Fangs or Ultra, and assuming that uh, since we have these Ultras here and the Darkest Gargonoid Ultra single, while it does exist, is uh, here with the Wave 4 stuff. Um, right? No, that's Quartz. That's Quartz. That's the core Wave 4 stuff. Here's the Ultras for core four, uh, Wave 4, uh, or BR Wave 1. Um, so, with this being the case, we can maybe assume that um, that the source sets will do. There could be there could be only two of them, which would be uh, Aurelis Fangor Ultra and Darkest Gargonoid Ultra as the ultras for those. Or uh, there could be three, and an ultra could be re reprinted, which would be nice. Like imagine if there was a reprint of uh, probably not Darkest Hydra's Ultra or Aurelis 
uh, Gargonoid Ultra. That feels super unlikely. But like, there could be an Ultra reprint. Maybe there will be a Pirate Dragonoid Ultra in there because, you know, uh, he's the big boy. Uh, would want to have maybe a starry deck with Pirate Dragonoid Ultra. That would make sense. Uh, so that might be what happens. Who knows? Uh, we won't know until we get there. Um, but I think that is it. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, I just want to quickly go over. Um, so based on this information, the new Bakan that will be coming in each of these following three waves. So in wave three, we will have new additions of... Uh, this, there's so many good reprints in this core wave. I'm so excited for this one. Uh, we will have uh, Gorthion Core, uh, probably Tritonium Core in the battle in the battle packs or starter packs. Um, then Dragonoid Ultra, Gorthion Ultra, uh, Fangzor Ultra. Uh, that would be it. And Diamond Gargonoid Ultra and Diamond Nilius Core for the diamonds. Then for wave four, uh, we would have um, we would have. Uh, Webm Web Ultra, um, Pegatrix Ultra, Cyndius Core, and yeah, that would be it for the new Ultras and Cores in that wave. Very small wave when it comes to new molds. Only three new molds, but we have a new card set to digest when that drops, so whatever. It's fine. Um, and the diamonds would be Diamond Pegatrix Ultra and Diamond Cyndius Core. Um, and then wave five, of course, we have a bunch of new stuff that will be dropping then. Uh, we have Lupithion Ultra, Vice Rocks Ultra, Nobilius Ultra, Hydronoid Ultra, um, Hyper Dragonoid Ultra, Peravian Ultra, uh, Kubo Core, uh, Phaedrus Core, Trino Core, Vice Rocks Core. That is 11 new molds that will be dropping in that wave. Uh, so very, very big wave. And the diamonds, we don't really know for that wave. Like, this Diamond Serpentine Ultra, probably in that wave. Um... But we didn't. We've ne we've still never been able to find a diamond core for that wave yet. Uh, so who knows what the diamond core for that wave could be? But uh, we have seen diamond Dragonoid Ultra, and that has to drop at some point. Uh, we saw that at Toy Fair. Um, let me pull that up real quick if I can find it. Oh, well, here's a Rebel Fangs. Oh, he's a sneaky boy. He's a sneaky boy. Um, yeah, let's just see if I can find that real quick. Uh, da, da, da. oh, right, there's also the WebM uh, Ultra. That could be it. Uh, who knows? Um, or that could, yeah, here it is. Here it is. The Diamond Dragonoid Ultra right next to Pyrus Hyper Dragonoid. Uh, so yeah, that is basically the info we have right now on the future waves. New info that we just got. So, hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, and with that said, this is Hunter Surge signing off. Um, Tomorrow we will have the first match video of the channel. I wanted to avoid putting it on Sundays because, um, because, uh, because of, because of that's when the official channel puts up their match videos. So I want a conflict there. Uh, so I'm just going to put them on Saturdays or any other day that is in Sunday if possible. Sunday will be uh, my next deck profile. Um, unfortunately, I, I wasn't, I, my original plan was to do the darkest, um, the darkest ability analysis on Sunday, but because this info dropped, I really need to do a, I really want to do a video on this, or it's like, I guess I'll just, uh, I am pushing the darkest ability analysis until Tuesday, so that'll be out Tuesday, uh, but for the rest of this weekend, you'll have um, those two things to enjoy, so look forward to that. With that said, this is Hunter Surge, signing off.